What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. I'll be showing you guys some tests that we did with one of these boxes. So if you guys are interested in what the heck these things really are, make sure to stay tuned, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so we're gonna do a quick little video on them. So the one that I have right here on the side, and I put a bunch of ice in it. I think I put like two big bags of ice in it uh, at around 6.30 in the morning. And today, as of right now, it is Saturday currently around 7 a.m. So we're gonna see if the ice stayed or not. And we're gonna see if the drinks are even cold or not. Because if it's still watered down, that's fine with me, but we still gotta see if it's cold. And one thing about this bad boy, which like I said, we'll give you guys all the specs and what it comes with in a bit. But one thing that I like about this one, it's not like an ordinary cooler. This thing has some nice seals all the way around it and it actually opens up from the side. So if you are a Tacoma owner or if you guys do own a truck overall, this cooler on this side is gonna be very beneficial to you guys. I'm gonna show you guys why. All right, you guys, so with the cooler, what I was talking about, if you guys do have a truck, you can go ahead and throw it back here with no problem. And as you guys can see, the latches are here and then you can go ahead and open up and be done. But that's the cool thing about this bad boy here. And it does come with some other little features, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So let's get into that review part of it. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the actual unboxing, the review part of this, just giving you guys the details on both of these bad boys. Once again, this one here is gonna be their 125 liter rolling case it's super versatile it does come in different colors and overall I mean what do you think about the way it looks I think it looks cool it fits in the back so what do you like most of it the color <laughs> the color I like that it's it's like a basic color that matches with everything just kind of talking about that once again it's a 125 liter Rome case if you guys do want them we'll link them in the description box below so with this one here it's good for like when you go out camping if you guys do want to put like your dry goods your unperishable type foods or cans or anything like that you can also put your tools in here it's super rugged so even though the truck is kind of bouncing around when you're off-road it's not gonna mess up up, and it does have a bunch of latches all the way around so that way this thing is super rugged when you open it up it also is very tightly sealed so there is a seal going around it there is a nice shocks with nice latches here so you already know the quality is just well built if you guys do remember I've previously done a video on my Rome boxes that go on the roof which I still have them I still use them but uh, now with this bad boy here I can transfer some of the stuff over uh, on shorter trips or on long trips I can bring those and just keep my stuff in here as far as for me what I plan on using this for is honestly mainly just storing my camera gear and also my clothing why I say that is because when you have this thing closed as of right now I mean I do have my clothes and my camera gear in here but when you close this once again it has latches all the way around and it does have this here which you can roll it around like a suitcase. So it is gonna be a little heavier than a suitcase, I'm not gonna to lie to you guys, but it's nice that I can put everything in there and not worry about it. But for you, it'd probably be ideal for tools or anything like that. It's just, if you guys do remember on the room cases I had on my roof, I used to store my clothes in that one. But now, I mean, this is a lot easier and I can roll it around because it does have uh, rolling tires. All right, so now that I kind of talked quickly about it, what would you throw in here? Say you're traveling, uh, what, what's your ideal use of this box if you had one? I liked your idea with the use of like for your clothes and everything, uh -huh. but if I'm gonna go camping, I want a good place to store all my food and stuff. So I think it'd be a perfect place for sandwiches, drinks. So kind of like a cabinet for food basically? Yeah yeah and i mean that's what it's really meant for it's just once again like for me on long road trips that's what i'm going to use it for but short road trips that's probably what i'm going to do i'll probably throw like the utensils mm -hmm. along with the food along with the cans and then i'll just keep my clothes in a backpack inside another cool thing on this roam box and also the other one has it but right here on the side there's a bottle opener so oh. when you all want to open up a coke or anything like that there you go <laughs> Convenient. So, yeah. I want you to carry this. So let me go ahead and close up the latches. Uh, as far as the latches, there's going to be two high quality latches on this side. There's going to be two high quality latches on this side. And then there's going to be three high quality latches over here. So you never ever have to worry about this thing opening up when you guys are out on the trails. No matter how hard the trails that you hit, 
this thing ain't going anywhere. Strap it down, it's good to go. I've been hitting some hard trails and so far this thing still looks brand new. So go ahead and try this thing out. I'm not gonna lift it, you just do it. That side? So from this side, tires are on that side. So tell me. It's pretty light. Right? It's not, that it's not too bad. I guess with the tires it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. But there's that. And then once again, they offer it in different colors. So if you guys do choose to go a different route, uh, you guys can do that. Let me show you guys the back side here. So on this side, it also has these little straps. On the other side, it'll have the same thing. So if you wanna lift it yourself, you can, or if you have a buddy helping you out, say it's really heavy, you can have them grab one and you grab the other. But here's the high quality tires as well. This is not going to break as easy as you think. If you guys have seen the ones from Home Depot, the bins that have like the yellow top with the black bottom, if you guys use those for camping, yes, those are good, but I'm sure it's happened to you because it's happened to me where you're out off-roading and it's just kind of getting binged around and the lids kind of start snapping open and then your stuff comes out or uh, you start getting a bunch of dust inside. Once again, with these things, they are weather sealed. So you're never gonna have to worry about these things opening up ever again. And you're not gonna have to worry about dust getting inside of them. I mean, I can't tell you guys enough on the ones that I have on the roof, how many times I've gone off road, I go to open it up and it's still good. There's no dust inside. So heck yeah. So now moving on to the fridge. So this one, I'm gonna try to show you guys as best as possible. And I'm gonna have her kind of tell you guys the truth versus me i feel like sometimes you guys think i lie so that's why i have her here to show you guys the truth so about a week ago let me tell you guys right, so now moving on to the cooler over here i know most of my viewers are probably going to be really interested in this one that's why i'm showing it to you guys today but talking about this bad boy here it does also come in different colors i know mine is gray i probably should have chose black to be honest with you guys just so the dirt and stuff like that doesn't show as much but they do offer it in different colors i think it's like tan i think there's like a camo and a bunch of other ones uh, just mine is in gray but this bad boy here is the 45 quart one uh, they do also make them in different sizes, uh, different styles, but they're all going to have that nice rugged look to them. But once again, the reason I have her here today is because inside of here about a week ago, which was on Sunday at about 6, 6 or 6.30 a.m., I had filled this thing with ice. Uh, I, took a tr I went on a trail. I went off road. And then uh, during the whole week, I've kind of been uh, putting this in the truck, taking it down, putting this in the truck with the same ice inside of it. On Thursday, I went to check it out, which I'll leave a video clip right here. So when we first filled this thing up, it was Sunday around 6 to 7 a.m. roughly. And right now, currently, it is a Thursday around 6 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to see what's inside as far as the ice. So opening this bad boy up here, as you guys can see, I mean, there's still chunks of ice. Let me pull it out. So there's still big chunks of ice and there's still a little bit of ice everywhere, but this water is still freezing cold. So I'd say this would still last another one to three days. So there it is, you guys. I mean, it'll last you a full week and your drinks or food won't tarnish. And cool thing about this is it does have, of course, is the cutting board and then the little tray so you can put your food inside so you don't mix anything up. I don't have it currently because of the testing purposes, but there it is. Just to give you guys an idea, it's about five days and there's still a bunch of ice in here i opened it up and it looked like there was still chunks of ice in it and the water was still super super cold inside so as of right now it is saturday currently what about 9 a.m yeah so now about a week later we're gonna see if there's still ice in this thing i'll be honest with you uh for seeing it from thursday to right now i don't think there's gonna be ice in it mm -hmm. but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be still cold which she's gonna be my witness seeing if it's cold or not I don't want you guys to think I'm lying, so that's what she's here for. So we're gonna open this bad boy up and then we'll give you guys more details on it. And we'll tell you guys kind of what this comes with because it does come with some cool stuff that you guys might use out on the trails. That's what I was saying. Most of my viewers might wanna buy this. So first things first, I did get the one that opens up from the end here, just because like I showed you guys previously, it works out good when you guys have a truck or a camper shell because you can open it from the side versus the other ones you open up this way. So popping this thing open, what do you see? 
No ice. No ice. <laughs> the ice melted. It melted a lot. Let me get you guys closer. All right, so looking inside of here, you guys are gonna see it's all watered down now. Uh, previously on Thursday, when I showed you guys, there was still chunks of ice, but now it's just straight water. Before I touch it, I want you to touch it. So okay. go ahead and test it. Is it still cold? And be as honest as you it's can. It's freezing. It's Heck like an yeah. ice bath. Okay, so now fill in the ice Stop. bath. Go ahead and grab one of the drinks and tell me if that's still cold. Oh my god, my hand is freezing. <laughs> so it is it's cold, cold then. Heck yeah. So somebody out camping, I mean, most people don't camp for a week straight. I mean, you think this will be a good purchase? Yeah. Heck it yeah. keeps it really cold. <laughs> and I mean, it lasted a week, so it'll probably last another week. Heck yeah. And once again, I mean, most people do not camp for a week straight. And even if you do, most people will go back out, grab some ice. So that's really cool just seeing that, feeling that. I want to feel it for myself. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. It's really cold. <laughs> yeah. It feels kind of like, how would you say it? I don't know, but it's cold. <laughs> Heck yeah. So we'll throw that back in there. I want to take a shower in that now because it's going to be a hot day today. I saw. <laughs> Heck yeah. So uh, that being said, so there's the drinks. It is a 45 uh, quart uh, little cooler here. So if you guys are tired of like the styrofoam ones or just the regular ones that only last like half the day, here's your guys' best bet right here. It's affordable. Rome is a known brand and it's super rugged. Comes with these nice latches that you guys saw when we opened them. It also comes with these straps on both sides. So another reason why I said this is really, really ideal for the people that do go camping or just off-road in general is if you guys do cook, it does come with a cutting board. So say you guys do bring any meat or anything like that, you can cut it up, dice it up, whatever you want to do. And it does have little slots right here to go ahead and slide this in just like that, as you see. So it's gonna have slots all along these ridges. So you can kind of place it wherever you want. Another cool thing that this thing comes with is this basket here, so just like that. So say you wanna put your drinks or whatever at the bottom here. Uh, up top right here, you can put like the stuff that you don't want getting squished, kind of like your butter, your eggs, or anything that's a little bit more breakable. You can throw it in this bin here. And that's all included in this purchase. And I mean, check out this seal, you guys. It's, it's nice and it's just clean. So closing that up, uh, looking right here on the side, it also has that bottle opener that I told you guys earlier. So if you guys do want to pop open those uh, waters, wink, wink, you can open them up with that or you can open up with the Coke. And then right here, it also has drainage systems. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test out these drainage is right here. So we'll pop these open and let all the water drain out and I'll give you guys another quick look around it. But coming back to this box, here is the uh, bottle opener if you guys need that. And then, I mean, look at the construction of this, you guys. And it goes inwards here, inwards there. So there's a lot of spacing in here. There's my camera bag, which is a pretty good size. Uh, here's some shirts that I have in here. Uh, Tacoma B shirt. And then here is my gimbal. And there's still a bunch of space to put a bunch of stuff. Like I said, uh, if I don't use this as like a storage for the food, I'm gonna be using it as kind of like for my clothing. So when I do travel on long road trips, uh, this should fit like a duffel bag and even shoes and stuff like that. And then the cool thing once again is it does have those high quality tires with the high quality straps and high quality locking mechanisms. It's gonna be just a nice uh, rugged suitcase for whenever I go anywhere. I don't think I'd take this on an airplane, of course, but this for sure will work out in the truck. It's way more than 50 pounds. It's a lot more than 50 pounds, that's for sure, especially loaded up. And then giving you guys a closer look on these shocks. I mean, just look at the design of these things. Whoever constructed this did a very, very good job. So. Let's get that thing cracking open. Let's see how long it takes us to drain it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. So here's the drainage right here. All you do is unlock and move out the way. All right, so as you guys saw, that was really quick on the draining system. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing back up just for now. All right, you guys, so now that we drained it out, as you guys can see, basically drained out everything 
super super quick uh, most coolers you'll be there forever because the hole's like pretty small on this one it's pretty big and you guys can see it here a little bit better now once again there's that cutting board if you want to use it for your meats or whatever you guys want to dice up and then here's the little carrying system and there is all the drinks it looks like you can probably fit maybe two packs of Gatorade in here and a couple waters it's not super super huge but it is enough to get you through the weekend of camping so you won't have to worry about anything can't wait to keep using this I've only used it a handful of times so far and I haven't been disappointed one thing that I do want to note though and I know it's for a reason but when you go to latch this thing down you do got to kind of play with it because it latches super super hard so we'll see how this latching system works over time i mean down the road if it rips on me or something i'll make another uh, in-depth review but so far i mean i'm liking it because i know it's going to be super sealed and now without the water i can lift it myself not gonna lie it's still a little on the heavy side but it's not bad and there it is you guys whether you want the cooler whether you guys want the bigger box for storing stuff it's going to be in the description box below either one is going to be a good purchase i just really like this one because if you guys do remember i do have an electric fridge that i do carry around but the thing with that one i only use that one if i'm being honest with you guys when i do go on long road trips because it's ginormous it's really heavy and you have to plug it to the truck run the battery with this bad boy here i can do a weekend's trip I load it up unload it no problem that's why i like this one and that's why i picked this one specifically uh, with this bad boy here that one i can take it anytime anywhere if you guys do want to just check them out they do offer different boxes different coolers the next thing that i do want to purchase from them is going to be uh, they offer one that you can throw your drinks in there kind of make like kool-aid in it or whatever and it has a little opening port to drink to take out the drink uh, when i was at overland expo west i saw that one and i fell in love with it so i think that's going to be the next purchase if you guys want to see a video on that one let me know i'll make a video once i buy it so if you guys did enjoy today's quick little review and unboxing about these bad boys make sure to like comment and subscribe we'll see you guys on the next one peace Feel free to subscribe